Hey everybody, Amp Repair Guy, website's amprepairguy.com, 203-892-4119. Here we have a Heathkit SB220. This thing's super clean, figured I'd make a video. I work on tons of these, awesome amplifier, great amp. So, I already have the soft key kit installed, the guy did a good job, whoever did it. Uh, someone replaced the filter caps. They didn't do the great, the greatest job. A uh, customer wanted the Harbach kit put in. He wanted the Harbach metering board kit put in, and he already had purchased a Harbach replacement fan. He put he wanted me to install it, so I'll show all that. So made new parasitic suppressor assemblies using two all carbon comps. I used the old tubes when I soldered them in place to prevent damage to the new tubes. A little piece of solder down there after I haven't cleaned it out yet. New style plate blocking capacitor. Check the plates on both the C1 and C2 cap air variables. They all look good. No damage, no work damage. Check the contacts on the input and output, output rotary switches. Clean those. I tighten the screws on both of these cap to screws on this and then the nuts on this. Uh, to make sure they have a good strong connection to ground. You get the series glitch resistor, new metering board, zip tied everything, new Harbach board. Uh, so, uh, these both come as kits, so I assemble them, install them. Like I said in other videos, I like to put some silicone around the caps and then put the plastic pieces on to keep this from sliding out. I can't tell you how many times I've seen it slide out. You don't want this too close because I've seen it where it's arced to the metal. So installed the new fan. I'm gonna flip it over. Give me one second. With two hands. Okay, I'm back. As you can see it has the soft key kit. Grounded the grids with copper strap directly to ground, not to the screws. Not to the uh, socket screws. I use 632 screws with kept nuts. These are super tight, all soldered. One goes to a screw. I couldn't get a screw on the opposite side of the up to on the opposite side of the filament choke. Sometimes people place it really close to the socket, but it's good. So I changed the cap, the electrolytic cap for the 90 volt winding that's rectified on the filament transformer. I cleaned the TR switch with the oxic gold, cleaned the, all the rotary switches with the oxic gold, including the rotary switch for the multimeter on the other side. Check the SO239 connectors to make sure they're nice and tight when you plug in, plug in a PL29 and when you pull it out, they're good. I had to replace the wire for the, uh, for the uh, TR relay on the positive side. It was too short. I did the bias mod. The, the old wire was... Uh, over here and there was a jumper so I had to lengthen it. I ended up putting a Teflon uh, wire in with a stranded silver plated center conductor. I uh, soldered and heat shrunk the wires for the fan. The kit comes with uh, like the wire nut type nuts. I don't I don't ever use those so I I soldered it and heat shrunk it and I zip tied it in place. So Customer needed new tubes, like I said, so he purchased a new set from RF Parts. They, um, you know, they're the only source that I use for three 500Zs and 572s. I've, I've yet to have an issue. They're good people over there. I highly recommend them. So, that's about it. There's another, there's the SB200 I'm working on. Waiting on some parts. And I'll make a video on that too. So... That's about it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.